throw all that street shit to the side right now, Mr. Prince, because you're not actually a street guy. You're a legitimate businessman for all intents and purposes. You have a boxer under your under your wing, under your management wing, Shakur Stevenson, who was allegedly standing feet away from takeoff when he was shot. Where's his statement? He's not a street nigga. So the no snitching rule doesn't apply to Shakur Stevenson. He should have been the first one down at Houston Police Department after this shit went down. And ADOS dude, ADOS dude, there was an ADOS dude named Bill something. Bill the icon. Bro. He bring up all the dirty laundry. You know what I'm starting to realize that, that black people, we have a problem being held accountable. And what's at the forefront of my mind right now is um, how long has it been since Takeoff was shot and killed? Let me just Google that real quick, just for context. So it was November 3rd when Kirshnik Kyrie Ball, better known as Takeoff, was killed. It was a Tuesday morning at 810 Billiard and Bowling Alley at 1210 San Jacinto Street in downtown Houston. And um, most of us saw some form of the footage, uh, whether it was the argument uh, preceding the shooting or whether it was the aftermath um, of the shooting where you saw take off bleeding out um, Quavo screaming out in anguish um, for his nephew um, who was bleeding out right before his very eyes. Where is the outrage from the black community? You know, when a black man, for all intents and purposes, for what it seems was an innocent bystander in a very minor minor incident an argument possibly over a dice game wasn't involved in the act in the actual argument probably wasn't involved in the dice game as we can see on, on the footage takeoff was silently pretty much witnessing um, the events transpired like everybody else that were there there were only a couple of people involved in the actual argument and this black man was shot um, allegedly in the head or in the neck. And I did see the footage of him laid out. It was disgusting. And there was a crowd of black people around. He was murdered at the hand of a, another black man or men. We're not sure yet because we don't know who the shooters were. And again, this happened in broad you know, view of at least 20 witnesses, several with their cell phone cameras out on record. This was on November 3rd. Uh, today is November 22nd. Uh, we haven't heard anything from Houston PD uh, since their initial press conference. Uh, we haven't heard anything from Jay Prince besides some rambling IG post about uh, people shooting wildly not knowing what they're doing. So I'm pretty sure Jay Prince knows who did the shooting. Um, I'm sure Houston PD knows who did the shooting. When are we gonna have a perp walk? When are we gonna see somebody in bracelets being stuffed in the back of a police cruiser, being marched into the county jail and being taken before a judge and charged with the murder of Kirshnik Kyrie Ball? Where's the outrage? I see Benjamin Crump steady posting on his timeline about white officers assaulting and killing black men but i don't see anybody of any prominence in the black community using their voice or their platform to call for justice for takeoff or for kershnik Kyrie ball you know i'm sure his family's in grieving right now and maybe it's not uh something that they're up to at the moment I'm not sure, but where is the outrage from the public? The same energy that we reserve uh, for when a black man 
life is taken by a, a white police officer or for somebody of another race? Where is the outrage? Where is the march on City Hall um, in Houston demanding justice for this man? Where y'all at? Until freedom. Where y'all at? Black Lives Matter. Where y'all at? You feel me? And I know Mike Son has gone public and made a statement regarding the death of Takeoff. But where's your organization, bro? You have a whole organization behind you. Tamika Mallory, where are you? Al Sharpton, where are you? You feel me? Nobody's saying anything, and I believe it's being quietly swept under the rug. And it makes no sense. But let a police officer uh, shoot and kill a black man for whatever reason, and there'll be all hell breaking loose in the media on social media, possibly in the streets, if they feel like it can be used uh, as a political wedge, um, as the liberal media normally does, uh, weaponize and monetize black pain, black death, and trauma for ad dollars. But where's the outrage? You know, I'm speaking from a, a father's point of view. If this was my son, and he could very well be my son. You know, my oldest child is 32 years old. So take off being 28 could very well be my son. I couldn't rest. I would be in Houston on the warpath. I would be at City Hall. I would be at the Houston Police Department every day. You know, and, I, and I'm pretty sure I believe he, uh, the family uh, lives here in Gwinnett County. I would be leveraging my political uh, power through my local government. I would be on my local officials. Uh, look, y'all need to make some calls over to Houston and tell them that we need some justice. Even the Atlanta uh, political structure could be leveraged. Because while the Migos are actually from Gwinnett County, Lawrenceville area, they pretty much represent Atlanta. You know, their label, um, Quality Control, is an Atlanta label. And they have powerhouse groups. Lil Baby, Lil Yachty, Migos, City Girl. But we can't leave it up to a record label to solve this murder. Streets need a body. The people need a body right now. And I don't mean a body in a casket. I mean a body with handcuffs stuffed into the back of a police cruiser. Marched through the Sally Port of Houston Police Department. Placed in a cell. And marched in front of a judge and charged with this crime, I don't care if it was friendly fire, I don't care if it was the opposition, I don't care if it was a combination of both. Um, from what we know, um, there were shots fired from several different handguns, maybe two, maybe three. But again, who, we don't know what's going on with the investigation. Ever since the initial press conference, we haven't heard shit from Houston Police Department. We haven't heard shit from Jay Prince. We haven't heard shit from Jay Prince Jr. And I can remember Jay Prince, when Almighty Jay got his chain snatched in New York, um, Jay Prince got on social media on Instagram and made a long bullshit post about getting this man's jewelry back, a bullshit chain, tagging rappers like my son. Um, I believe he tagged Remy Ma. I believe he also tagged Hocus 45th, who actually uh, made moves to get the chain back. The little bullshit chain back. So if you were able to go all out of your way, uh, Mr. Prince, respectfully, to put pressure on a whole other city to get a bullshit chain back, for some fledgling rapper under your umbrella 
If you were able to do all of that publicly, my guy, respectfully, where is that same energy to solve a murder in your own town with a man who was under your protection? Why should we have to wait any longer for justice to be served? Throw all that street shit to the side right now, Mr. Prince, because you're not actually a street guy. You're a legitimate businessman for all intents and purposes. You have a boxer under your, under your wing, under your management wing. Shakur Stevenson, who was allegedly standing feet away from takeoff when he was shot. Where's his statement? He's not a street nigga. So the no snitching rule doesn't apply to Shakur Stevenson. He should have been the first one down at Houston Police Department after this shit went down. A crowd. Looked like about 20 people, all black people, men and women. And nobody's talking. Houston PD is curiously silent. Again, after their initial press conference, we haven't heard a mumbling word on the status of the investigation into the murder of Kirshnick Kyrie Ball. And where is the outrage from the black community? Because I can see it now. That if and when, and I put a major emphasis on if. If somebody is held accountable, I can see it now. The social media posts. Free the guy. Respect the shooter. I can see it coming. And if somebody decides they want to do the right thing, step forward, testify, give their eyewitness account of what happened, somebody's going to tell them to stop snitching. I'm a fuck your bitch. I'm a fuck this nigga. I get on my fucking nerves. Huh? Huh? Whew.